hey, this is Brett from Softwit Media and WP Theme Speed, and I'm working on a client site at the moment, and several of my clients have been having trouble with GoDaddy Managed WordPress ser uh, servers this week. Uh, GoDaddy Managed WordPress hosting, to be more precise. And a number of different things are happening. Problems with updates. A couple different messages you might be seeing. This uh, one up here that's persistent, an automated WordPress update has failed to complete. Please notify the site administrator, whoever that might be. Should be GoDaddy, but their hold times have been a little long this week. Um, and another one, if you attempt to do a manual update of a plugin or a theme yourself, you may be seeing this. You might not see it for a single theme or a single plugin, but in my experience, if you try to do more than two or three at a time, you'll get it. And what happens is there's only two ways really to, maybe three ways to fix it. One is if you give it a little bit of time, it might correct itself. Um, or you might need to call GoDaddy support and get some help. Or if you want to do it yourself because you don't want to wait 50 minutes on hold, you can log in through FTP. And on the server files, you'll see this little dot maintenance thing. And if you Google this, you'll find it too, but it's been popping up a whole lot more uh, recently. Uh, this is uh, currently the January of 2017, in case you're pitching this video some other time. And all you have to do is delete this file. It's, it's not something that uh, you need. You can uh, I'm right-clicking or double-clicking on a Mac uh, to get the option to delete that particular file, dot .maintenance, delete it, uh, make it go away, and then I can come back to my browser, uh, click the updates link again, and odds are if you got that message, the update that you're working on probably did not work, or if you're trying to do more than one plugin or something, maybe one of the plugins updated but not the other two or three or so. So I'm going to try one more time. I've been systematically going through a, a half dozen or more plugins and theme updates. I'm going to update this plugin. And, you know, sometimes it might not go, and then you delete the maintenance button and try again. And it might take two or three times sometimes. Uh, I have run into a couple plugins that simply refuse to be updated through the WordPress admin interface, in which case you'd have to manually upload those via uh, FTP, SFTP. Uh, using a program like FileZilla to do it, or contact someone uh, if you need help uh, with that kind of thing. You'll notice this is still updating. It's going kind of slow, but it did manage to get through that one plugin again. It's a very small plugin, and uh, so it shouldn't have taken too long, but that's, that's uh, kind of what it takes. You can double check, and uh, I want to also check and see if this particular site's running the latest WordPress, 4.7.1 just came out and I'll be checking on that next. But I wanted to share this because uh, a number of my clients have been running into trouble with GoDaddy. Um, GoDaddy's made a lot of improvements over the last few years, a whole lot better than uh, they might have been several years back. Uh, admittedly, I would not have recommended them several years ago, but I have over the last couple of years. But this last week or so, they've been having troubles. They're working on it, but as always, you should always pay attention to your hosts. There's times when it pays to stick around and wait for them to fix things. And then there's times when, you know, business demands that you uh, make a move and be flexible too. So do what's right for you and for your business and your websites. And that's the tip for the day.